17-year-old Rohit has forgotten how to dream. Well, you all must be wondering who Rohit is. Any guesses? There is a Rohit in each and every one of us who has either completely given up on their dream or forgotten about it. My generation talks more about broken hearts than broken dreams. It's rather strange that the whole idea of maturing comes at a cost. The cost of our unique and precious dreams. But we have normalized that and have learned to live with it. The other day, an older friend of mine came running to me, shouting hysterically, Buranyu, Buranyu, I just got this 2 crore package in this IT company. Wow, dude, I'm so proud of you, is what I said to him. But you know what I was thinking in the back of my head? No, you should have followed your dreams instead. You see, he wanted to be a top grass chef ever since his childhood. But he too fell on the sloppy paths of conventional realities. A whopping 2 crore deal killed another dreamer's dream. It's like his success story was preset. But who decides this success story? Who defines success? Was it Winston Churchill, Shah Rukh Khan, Dhirubhai Ambani, Nikola Tesla? We don't know. But the thing is, you need to create your own success story. Let me put things into perspective here. How much do the parents brag when their child is an engineer, a doctor, or a chartered accountant? Do the parents say it with the same pride when their child is an artist, a musician, or a chef? Why do parents of children pursuing unconventional careers think of them as second-class citizens? It discourages so many Rohits from pursuing their dreams audaciously and unapologetically. I ask with humility, why do we need to apologize for our dreams? What wrong have we done in wanting to be a DJ jockey instead of an engineer? Why do my dreams and my passion become the first casualty whenever the idea of success is deliberated upon? I see so many Rohit struggling every year with J.E. Neat and CLAT preparation, preparing endlessly for a path they did not choose, they did not want, and have never felt excited about. I would not want to be an IIT or an AIMS graduate at the cost of my dreams. It's so sad that we are defined as successful or unsuccessful based on some MCQ test or the zeros at the end of our pages. I want all of you to put your hands on your heart and say that this is wrong. This entire president. How many of you here can boldly raise your hand and say that your dreams and your success story perfectly collide? Anyone? So, I have been thinking about how the world is changing, especially when it comes to careers. There are so many unconventional careers which are popping up on the landscape, but we only appreciate the change and we don't embrace it. It's like we have this default setting for our lives. Go to school, go to a good college, get a degree from one of these professions listed right here, and voila, you are successful. But now, let's hit the pause button on that narrative. Think about it. In a world full of tech and innovation, why are we still stuck under traditional options so much, which may have a lot of financial value, but a dearth of emotional gains? People want to be an engineer or a doctor, but they don't want to follow their own success story. Not every path is for every person. Not every person has the same dream. But new jobs like artificial intelligence and content creation, these aren't just techie buzzwords anymore. These are fields where people are working their hearts out, following their dream, following their passion, and still making money. Innovation in tech is not enough. Innovation in mindsets is very important for a youth driven world. We need to understand in letting people be, following their own paths, their own dream, creating their own success story. Recently, I was at this family function, and one of my aunts remarked, you might hate what you do for work, but you use the money to do what you love. <laughs> I do agree with it. The money part, I mean. Money does buy happiness, doesn't it? In today's world, it's the goal of most humans to earn more and more and more. But with the changing world, the whole point is to earn doing what you love. Forget the 9 to 5 grind. People are creating their own empires, building paths from scratch. And now, more than ever, the rules of the games have changed. It's about having an idea, having a dream, being innovative, being passionate, and having the guts to run with it. 
I know I am a student and some of you here are students too and this must be very overwhelming. And I don't even know much about this path myself yet. But I do know that it's not your typical follow the crowd scenario. Most of the successful people today are not the ones that followed the preset path. They are the ones that dare to dream differently. Most of the people making wave today are not the ones that stuck to the script. They are the ones that picked it up, ripped it up and wrote their own. The next big person might not be wearing a fancy suit, sipping on a glass of champagne, talking to Jeff Bezos. He might rather be in his garage, cooking up this new technology that's going to change the world forever. But the point is, how do we get ahead of this fast-moving world? Where everything is changing so quickly, dreams have different meanings, success has different meanings. The answer might sound obvious, but it's adaptability. Adapting not to the conventional ideas, but the ones that will help us achieve our dreams. Dreams are not just a journey. They are a path which you follow throughout your life. The world is your canvas and your brushstrokes, they are the ones that paint your extraordinary life. Your dreams are the brushstrokes that paint your extraordinary life. Let's not say that I had a dream. Let's say I have a dream and I have achieved it. Kabhi ek mahapurush ne kaha tha, kamyaab hone ke liye nahi, kamil hone ke liye padho. Success ka bicha mat karo, excellence, excellence ke bichhe baago. Kamyaabhi chak maar ke tumhare bichhe aegi. Thank you.